before we proceed with more general projection mappings, I would like to talk about vector math and its relation to texture coordinates. Texture coordinates are like spatial vectors. They have an origin, a location, and which the coordinates have values 0, 0, 0. Starting from that origin, the coordinates are addressed as the distances along the axis. Usually, the axes are straight lines in space, but as we map the iris of Susan's eye in the third video, we constructed spherical coordinates with axes that circle the viewing direction. So axes don't have to be straight, just as they don't have to have a 90-degree angle to each other. Note that we assumed so, as we used the bitangent as v-axis in video number 5. That was an assumption which can hold in many cases, but it's definitely not valid as soon as we map curved surfaces. And so is stretching. What's an intrinsically curved or locally curved surface? If you can wrap a foil onto the surface without wrinkles, then the surface is locally flat. Its intrinsic curvature is zero. But whenever wrapping isn't possible without wrinkles or foil, then we will see some sort of stretching if we want the u-axis and v-axis of our coordinates to go along the surface. We won't run into that issue if we use object coordinates since the u and v-axis won't strictly follow the mesh surface. Remember, there is global space, object space, which is the local space that moves, rotates and scale with the object, and then there is the space of the UV maps, which we call tangent space. We already used the tangent vector, a global vector that points in the direction of the U-axis. In video 5 of this series, we calculated the UV distortion in tangent space. How much do we need to distort along the U-axis and along the V-axis? Whenever we need to get a local vector in global space or the other way around, we can use the vector vector transform node to get the vector from one space into another. So much on the relation between texture coordinates and vector spaces, but there are other tools to manipulate texture coordinates which are single vectors. In the next video, we'll have a look at them. Bye.